Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. And today, I'm going to make you a little keer for my paddles I made for the uh, Pixie Kit. So, the Pixie Kit doesn't have a keer built into it. So, we're going to make one. Uh, this ran me about 12 bucks on eBay. About. Um, it's just a mini uh, lambic. Hmm, lambic. Hmm, I always thought it was lambic. I guess it's lambic. Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm just higher brain function impaired. That's actually an I, not an L. Yep. Okay, so it's iambic uh, here. Um, my understanding is it's got the buttons on there. Um, one of them will uh, adjust the speed. You know, it works for a minute. Uh, another one will adjust uh, pre uh, message like your 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 um, your call sign. Which, like I said, my code isn't isn't that good. I mean, you can always send faster than you can receive, but my spacing gets off. And this this is what I got this for to help my spacing. That's mostly what it is. And my uh, make sure everything's like like the DAWs are three times longer than the DITs. You know, um, so we're gonna do that. And uh, one of the nice things is I may or may not make a lot of contacts at uh, one watt or 1.2 watts or. Or whatever the thing ends up being after I modify it and put new finals in and everything. Um, or this kid anyway. But um, what I can do is I can do my call sign and I can hit the reverse beacons. Uh, I think it's a reverse beacon network. Um, it's a website. And that'll tell me what is actually hit, what I've actually uh, got out and hit. So that's one of the uh, neat things about code. Um, I suppose... You can do phone on it, SSP, and, or sideband, and uh, stuff, but I don't know. I don't know a lot about it, to be honest. Um, so I'll, I'll use this to send perfect code, which, you know, the pre-programmed perfect code, and uh, that'll show up on the reverse beacon network, and we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this, um, you know. I'll just go ahead and fast forward through it and you can look at the finished board basically. You see me soldering if you want. Yeah, up to you. But it'll be fast like the other one for the kit building. <clears throat> and um then we'll we'll stop it and we'll get together and we'll test it and make sure everything works and go over the instructions. All the um the instructions are online, which you don't really need them to uh put it together, obviously. Well, I don't. Most people don't. Um pretty much by pictures really. Um I didn't, yeah, it didn't even come with a copy of schematic, but it's all online schematic, you know, build, build things, which I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with the lower components and put the bigger ones on last, basically, or thereabouts. There's only a few components here. Um, that's it. So you got your battery, you got your piezo, you got your, your jacks, you got your headers, you got your switches, you got some, uh, um, I think if they're called jumpers and a diode you got one pre-programmed IC you got a transistor and you got a socket so it's a very easy simple kit and you can figure it through jumpers um, I haven't read the manual yet that's just what I see here some of these aren't uh, connected uh, some of the jumpers aren't connected in the back there so we'll see about that but to figure it out I can see the jumpers there are different. I can see the isolated ones. Like the center pin here, you know, it's isolated. Uh, this pin here is isolated, so the jumper would be here. Or, you know, you're going to short whatever you need to get your your dis and dos for your thumb or your forefinger in this case. Um, yeah, let's figure it out when we go along and test it. We'll see what happens. But I'll go ahead and do that. Um... I bought a lot of kits from these people. Um, you know, I, I think they're a good company. Uh, they're very nice people. So, take a look at their website, I guess. I like them. Um, <clears throat> so, let me go ahead and get through this. Let me heat up the hot soldering iron and I'll pause it and jump around. Just do a quick thing. It's only a couple solder connections here. Something very quick. But, um, yeah, I'll just do that. And I'll be back.
All right, so let me turn this off. Fume extractor. We're going to use that 100% or 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol to clean the resin off the board here, um, or rosin. You know, the fun fact is it's made from tree resin and um, pretty much uh, rubbing alcohol. Oops, sorry. So let's go ahead and get that off as best we can. And then we'll, we'll, uh, gee, we'll see if we have a battery. This comes right off. Not that it really even matters. Could also put in the ultrasonic cleaner too. But I don't want to do that. Because A, I don't have the right chemicals to do it. Well, we got the isopropyl alcohol. I don't have a denatured water. Or is it distilled? I think it's denatured. But we'll just get this off this way. There, that's good. All down to the bottom now. A fun fact do I even have a battery here for this? I don't think I do. So maybe we can't test it today. If not, I'll get one and we'll, we'll hook it up tomorrow and then I'll publish the video complete. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. All right, let me go find a battery and I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, well, I don't have a battery, but I do have a, a uh, power supply. So, let's go ahead and put this to positive. Because it's positive side up on the battery. And this should be negative. Let's hear anything. I don't hear anything. There we go. Let's see. Oh, let me pull this off here. That was a C. Let me go upstairs and get the paddle, and I'll be right back. I'll also get the little cube to power it up, the speaker. So I'll be right back. All right, well, it's working. I just don't know the codes yet, what they mean. So. Apparently, I have something screwed up in my gear. See, that just did things without me. So. I don't know, there's some error, uh, probably not a message, probably not set. So, you know, that, that was just one hit. That's going on doing a thing, so. I'm going to have to go online and look at the manual and see why, but I'm sure it's just something not set or the speeds are not set. I gotta set the RAM or the memory on it and stuff, but there you go. That's a cure. It works. I'm happy with it. It's just a matter of setting up the codes now and the pre-programmed messages and find out what the dis and da's mean. Like I, I heard a D and I heard a C and you know, like this is a C. It does a C. I don't know what this is for. You know, I think that was a, something else. I'm not sure. Maybe a D. But anyway, that's it. This NCP. Um, it's really freezing down here, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'll hook up with you guys tomorrow or something. Get the next video out. All right, have a good one, everybody. NCP out.